Hey everyone, so today I am here with another Monday plan with me. I am planning for the week of June 5th through the 11th, and I am using an ultimate kit from Scribble Prince Co. This is actually one of my favorite ultimate kits ever. This is called Weekend. I didn't know when to use this, but I figured this would be a perfect week since there's like really nothing going on. Warning you now, nothing is going on this week. It is one of the most boring weeks ever, but I'm still excited to plan it just like I was last week. So with this kit, you do get the exclusive kit freebie. This is an older version. You have your front page here with the deco. I love this girl, so I think it's perfect for a week with nothing going on because I'll be able to fit in these two larger deco pieces, which I love. Oh, and a gnat just landed on me. Hi, friend. Anyway, then we have our functional sheet, half boxes, sheets, uh, headers and patterned washi, littles, solid washi and labels, ombre heart checklists, full boxes, which I love, <clears throat> excuse me, I love these full boxes. And then I have an extra full box, bottom washi, date cover strips, and then I also have the a la carte glitter sampler sheet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Sorry, I had to like cough a little bit there. I filmed my first part of my June haul. It was like 30 minutes long, guys, so be prepared. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started by putting down my bottom washi and all of my basics. And I also wanted to briefly talk about, so if you guys watch my rewind spreads, my past rewind spread, I, I already like apologized like 12 times for it, but you're gonna hear it a little bit again. But I had like technical difficulties with it, so I thought it was like perfectly fine. Like I edited it and it was totally fine. Like there was audio and everything was great. And then I exported it and something happened in like the exporting process where it ended up there was no audio and I didn't realize that. So I just uploaded it straight to YouTube. And I think I uploaded it late on Friday night and I scheduled for it to go up on Saturday like I normally do. And I went to work Saturday morning like super early. So the video went up after I was already at work. And I didn't, I wasn't like on YouTube, I was watching like a TV show or something. And Andrea texted me and she was like, hey, like I don't know if you know this, but like your video doesn't have audio. And I was like, what girl? And so I had to like go check and sure enough, it didn't have audio. So I went ahead and privated the video and uh, I couldn't do anything about it because you know, I was at work, I had to work my shift. That's gonna bother me. So I was at work until like four and it was actually Brian's birthday that day. So I came home, we celebrated his birthday and I didn't really think anything of the video because like, you know, it wasn't my first priority. Like Brian was obviously my first priority. So um, later that night after his party and everything, it was like 10, 30, 11 at night. I sat down and I didn't have any of the original footage or anything because I deleted it all off my computer, of course, after uploading because I'm crazy and that's just what I do because I like to keep my computer space clean. So I did that and I realized, like I said, that I didn't have anything so I would have to download the video from YouTube, which really sucks because it like diminishes the quality. So I did that and I did a voiceover and I sped everything up and I feel like it turned out really well and you guys were really receptive and understanding which I really appreciate because I was I just hate when that happens it's very frustrating and I felt like I was doing so good last week with uploading that it was just kind of like a bummer to end the week on but I briefly mentioned in that video that I wanted to talk a little bit more about bullet journaling because I started bullet journaling um, a couple of weeks ago actually the week that I you know rewind planned for so a lot of people have recommended I start bullet journaling for a while. I feel like that's something that people are always like, you should try out bullet journaling, you should try out bullet journaling. And I've seen quite a few, actually now, as of recently, I've seen quite a few uh, videos about bullet journaling. And it's very, like, a lot of people are very creative and can draw and have, like, beautiful handwriting. And, you know, my handwriting's pretty average. I don't have the best handwriting. And I cannot draw to save my life. Like, if you're like, Kristen, draw right now or die, I would be like, I can't do it because I can't draw. I literally, like, my stick figures look awful. So I really just kind of brushed it off for a bit and just didn't really think too much of it. But then I got all of my Erin Condra notebooks in and I was like, you know, I can't just have blank notebooks. I need to try something with them. And I wanted to start bullet journaling not as a daily sort of thing, but more so to keep myself organized, to put in, you know, like loan repayments or to keep track of like fitness and things like that. So I started, it's 
well actually I don't know I want to say monthly bullet journaling but the more I'm doing it this month even though we're only you know five days in the more I'm realizing that I kind of want to make it a daily journal like as far as tracking my fitness and stuff because I have started working out so I'm gonna keep messing around with it I'm gonna keep you know testing new things and seeing what I like it is a very personal process you know I do put you know our financial information in there and a lot of other you know various different personal things in there but I do at one point want to get to the place where I can share the bare minimum you know just like the bare bones of the spread with you guys and not fill in any of that information so uh, not June no not June not June nor July but maybe August I'll you know once I get kind of a feel for what I like in there you know it may even be September even uh, before I get like a feel for what I like but I would love to do like a bare bones each month at the beginning of the month showing you how I set up my bullet journal but the thing is I wouldn't show you the end result and I feel like that might be kind of annoying because like for me I like you know even myself I love to see how everything comes together that's you know one thing I love about planning is because I love to see at the end of the week everything come together that's like one of my favorite things so I know that can be kind of frustrating but I also feel like you guys are understanding you know we're all like mature adults here and you guys would understand like hey maybe she doesn't want to share all of her personal information with the internet but um, that is something I definitely would love to do with you guys because I really didn't see myself enjoying it as much as I do I really do love it a lot it's very therapeutic for me and I feel like it also not only is it therapeutic but it also really helps me as far as keep track of everything because my desk before was a hot mess with like papers and like bills like just laying around so I can keep track of things and I feel like this just kind of keeps me more so like organized and grounded and I would love to share that with you and like I said it's not a beautiful artwork you know it's I'm not drawing in it I'm literally just pencil and notebook bullet journaling you know I do do like the basic lines and stuff with a ruler and I have tried a little bit of like artwork with it but I mean it's nothing nothing to call home about but I don't know if that's something you guys would be interested in definitely let me know because I would love to do it if like I said if that's something you're interested in I would be all about it so ooh, my nails kind of match the spread so just let me know but I really wanted to talk about it because it's something that I feel like I do every day now that I'm just like completely obsessed with so I'm gonna get all the bare bones in here and I feel like that was a good talk to kind of get all this stuff in alrighty and like I said before this week is super boring I mean I say it's super boring but like when I say that the weeks that are super boring end up being crazy like I end up doing the most on those weeks so we'll see with the rewind spread but I kind of hope this week stays boring because I really need a calm week you guys I really need a breather so I'm just gonna get all this basic stuff in first I'm gonna keep the glitter sampler out cuz I'm gonna need that and then I'll just do the date cover strips and then we'll move on to the rest of the week so get those out oh my god this kit is seriously so beautiful and these colors whew, I was gonna do a um, like a summer spread but I'm kind of I think next week is next week next week is kind of a start of my summer spread and then the week after is kind of like a themed week but I think every week after that is gonna be very like summery so I'm very excited for that I have a ton of summer kits um, and I'm like really pumped about it. I talked about this again in my haul that you guys will see at the end of the month So hopefully you forget this conversation Afterwards because then you know you'll hear it again, but um I was really nervous that there weren't going to be any cute like summer kits this year because I was so obsessed with like the fall and winter kits and I didn't see a lot of clip art at first that was like really cute that was summery but oh my god I have so many like adorable summer kits that I'm just like ready to use. Oh hi neighbors so be prepared guys i'm very excited okay so here are i don't think i'm going to use this extra full box but you never know so i'm just going to keep it out oh, this kit is so beautiful and i'm going to put this in here i feel like, like i do a lot better with sticker placement when i'm not paying attention which is weird so let's get started then with monday through wednesday so, 
I pulled out like my multicolor SPC little things sheet to use because I just kind of really want to use like my work headers again like I like or little things I like using the asterisks and hearts that are in the kit because they match so well but I also just really like using stuff that really matches or not really matches that's SPC or like work related so I'm gonna get started by putting down a navy little thing I just had one didn't I is this the same exact color no so I'm going to put down an SPC little thing to mark work on Monday. I think I am working Monday through Saturday this week, if not just Monday through Friday, but I'm going to aim for getting some overtime in. So there is my SPC little thing for that. And also one more thing that I really want to talk about. So you guys know how for like the past year and a half, I've been putting labels in for Avery's baths. I finally decided that I'm going to cut the Avery bath stickers because I already know that I'm giving her a bath and I was just putting them in there for just like nostalgia and just because it was consistent I'm still gonna use the labels but now I'm working working out now I'm marking working out so I'm very excited about that so I'm gonna try something this week um, if this doesn't work out then we'll go back to using like double dots and wave labels but I'm going to use the labels that come in the kit as well as the label on here to mark working out so I work out Monday Tuesday Thursday Friday I take Wednesdays off because I have classes on Wednesday so I'm gonna use this label here and I've already decided, I feel like these are going to be the characters I use to mark working out, but I also might change it. I'm not sure yet, guys. So I'm going to put the label in here, and I'm using the Fox and Cactus Rose, like, running stickers. I thought these would be cute because they're kind of neutral. I mean, she has a pink top, but it's okay. So I'm going to use these small ones. I might have to order, like, five or six more sheets of these to be consistent throughout the year, but I really want to mark working out. So on Mondays, I do abs, so or like core, really. So I'm going to put that in for working out. And then I have two TV shows on that day. I have The Bachelorette and Teen Mom OG. So I'm going to put both of these in. I'm really hoping Avery doesn't wake up. I put her down 30 minutes ago, but I have a couple more videos that I want to film today. I don't know where it cut off, but I was basically talking about how I hope Avery stays asleep because she's down for a nap and I have more videos that need to be filmed. But anyway, I'm just getting these little things put in here. And then just money to daycare, and that's like essentially it for Monday. But these are really bothering me. Like, I don't know why they're not laying the way I need them to. No, 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 no. Go up. Thank you. Hopefully it stays. Okay, so to mark paying daycare, I've been using, of course, the Planner Gem stickers. I think I'm going to use, I kind of want to use the gray, but the blue matches. I keep saying this, but I really do need to order more of those. So I'm going to put the blue in just along the bottom of the Ombre Heart Checklist. And then that's it for Monday. Let me get my whole entire stack of stickers up here because I'm like... I've lost my mind. Okay, so I'm going to keep the full boxes out, and then I need to put some washi. Let's do the full box first. So I'm saving the ready for the weekend sticker for the, um, ooh, but do I want to use that? Or, yeah. I'm going to save the ready for the weekend quote box for the thankful thought. <sighs> I really don't want to cover this sticker. Okay, that works. So I'm going to use this navy one here. This might be hard to write on as far as, like, assignments, but... I kind of already know what I'm doing Monday, so it's fine. So I'm going to put this blo blocks, this blocks, this box there, and I actually have washi that matches it perfectly, so I'm just going to put that here to kind of almost make one consistent full box. And because I'm super annoyed with this little thing, I'm going to just scooch it down a little bit and then use the glitter header on top. like that just kind of separating them but it's a little crooked sorry guys I'm seriously a mess I feel like that's a little bit better okay cool and then I'm going to grab a heart checklist I'm going to stick with the blue to keep everything color blocked and I need four hearts on this heart checklist so I'm going to cut off the top two and put it right here 
that lined up perfectly so that is Monday this little thing just keeps like flying up which is gonna bother me anyway moving on to Tuesday so I'm gonna grab another SPC little thing for work where were the pink ones that I wanted to use here they are um yeah that one's well no yeah this one probably matches a little bit better so I'm gonna use this pink little thing to mark work And then I'm working out again, so I'm going to use another one of those labels. On Tuesdays, I do my butt, so I'm going to put this in. I do abs, butt, arms, and legs. So I'm going to put that in with another fox and cactus running girl. So cute. And then, what else? Pretty Little Liars is on. And that's it. I told you guys what a week we're having okay so I'm going to fix the label because I feel like that's what's like slightly off which is kind of unfortunate because the girl's on top of that so I gotta kind of scoot her down there we go so there's that and then the full box I will use is going to be this one here and what I'm going to do, because I want to put prep for unit four, but I don't want to cover this full box because it's really beautiful, is I'm going to put washi down. Let's use um, this washi because it's really cute. Put it down like this. I don't need this thick piece. I'm going to use a skinnier piece. This piece is probably the yeah, perfect size. Oh, but I put it on weird. Okay. And I'm still going to put the glitter header in right here. But it's just to kind of block off from that box. So I'm going to put in a flag. What are we doing, pink? I'm going to put the pink flag in here to put prep for unit four. And I'm going to use an icon, I think. Um, should I just do the at symbol? Yeah, that's fine. I'll put that in. That's fine. So, that is it for Tuesday. And then moving on to Wednesday, I need to put in another SPC little thing. Did I even find a light pink that I wanted? I don't remember. Hopefully. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to use a light pink little thing to mark working. And then I'm not putting in a label because I'm not working out on Wednesday. And that's honestly it for Wednesday, which kind of sucks now that I think about that. So I'm going to put in my full box. I'm going to use this one, I think. Yeah. I'm going to use this one. Oh my god, wouldn't it be great if I was recording all of these and the audio just didn't work on my camera? That would be wonderful. Anyway, so there's the full box, and I don't know what to put there because, like, literally, I don't want to fill that space with washi. Or do I? What's the real question? Yeah, let's just do it because then I can put deco on top of it. So I'm just going to fill this entire space with washi. Oh my goodness. But, I mean, there's a ton of washi in this kit, so it's not too bad. And then I can just use the larger deco. So, win-win. Oh, the washi doesn't even... Dang it. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to put my glitter header in. Hopefully it fits in there without any white space situation, which I think it'll be okay. Yeah, because I just have to fix this little piece because it kind of went up a little. There. So there's that, and then I do need a heart checklist for this day. It needs one, two, three, wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, all six. Perfect. I don't have to cut it. I don't know why I can't keep remembering that. And then I want to put my time dots in for my classes this night. So I need a 7 o'clock time dot and an 8 o'clock time dot. So that is navy and light pink. And I'll put both of those at the bottom on top of the hearts and that is it for Wednesday so I'm gonna go ahead then and flip to Thursday through Sunday um, Thursday of course I am working so let me grab a mint little thing oops sorry I just threw them all at you 
an SPC one and put that in right here. I feel like this mint matches pretty perfectly. And like I said, I am working out this day, so I'm going to grab the mint label and put that in here. Of course, with that fox and cactus running girl. I can get this in. Oh goodness, that's all sorts of Lord. Okay, it's a little better. So there's that, and then that's it for Thursday. Goodness gracious. Okay, so that's it for Thursday. So let's put in another full box. Told you guys, this week is something else. Another full box. I'm going to use the record player, and then I am just going to fill it again with washi. So at least it's not as much washi this time. So I'm just going to use this washi because I really want to use up the patterned. And the two larger pieces fill that entire space. And then I'm going to use another glitter header in between. And a heart checklist. And the heart checklist for Thursday just needs three, so I'm going to cut it right in half. super cute and then on Friday again I am working where was my navy one at did I grab another navy one? Oh yeah here's one right here ah, I have, okay I was gonna say I have like two sheets at once and that was kind of hard okay so I'm gonna grab the navy little thing and I'm going to use, so I don't have another one of the blue labels, but there is actually one on the sampler. It's just, it's an appointment label. I don't know though, I could probably just use this one, I feel like, the extra label label that I was using before. So I'll just put the pattern label in. And then the last of the running little characters, little roses from Fox and Cactus, which I love so much. Okay, and then there's that, and then it is, or I have a show on, I have RuPaul's Drag Race, and of course I don't have any other blue um, TV little things, so I'm just going to put a green one in to kind of bring out some of the greens in that label. And then it is also payday, so I'm going to put in, um, let's see here. A blue day okay let's do a quarter box I'm gonna use the blue quarter box with a I'll use the green just to bring out some more green icon the large icon of the money sign and that is it for Friday so I'm going to put just a small piece of washi this isn't that small but it's small enough uh, right here just to block that space and then I'm just gonna put the cat in I don't mind covering the cat too much but it's fine so I'll put that in there and then my glitter header right on top and then I do need a heart checklist this is the last heart checklist that I need for the week because I'm trying to make it so I don't have any homework on the weekends and so I need one two three four five hearts so I just have to cut off the top one and put this in here completely covering the cap which is fine all right and then moving on to the weekend I do want to get the weekend banner down I'm going to use oh this is tough should I just use solid washi I feel like that might be easier on me so let's use some solid washi I'm going to use the two larger pieces of each color so this like magenta and then the light pink and I'll get that weekend banner down first and then we'll go from there. Okay, so there's that and that. And then our weekend banner, which is fine because it can go up into the glitter header. Okay, so now let's work on Saturday. I have to put in another, excuse me, magenta little things I'm going to try and work. Sorry, I keep like spacing on what I'm trying to say. 
I don't think this was the same magenta I used last time, but it's fine. And then what else is going on Friday? Work. I have a bill due this day. So I'm going to use the light pink bill due because there's a light pink and a mint. So I'm just going to use the light pink bill due. I'm using these stickers to mark getting my nails done from Glam Planner. They're the Bippities. But I have ordered since some nail stickers. So I hope to get those soon because I don't want to use these all the way up. But what I'm going to do is what I've been doing, which is grab one of these cut off the animal just because it's a little bit bigger with the animal and I'm gonna actually put it in my ombre heart checkbox because I don't know if I'm gonna have enough space throughout the day so I'm just gonna put her right here and then I'm gonna put my full box down I'm gonna create the double box scene put her right here and I really want to put in that it's Brian and I's month anniversary six years and eight months I'm just gonna put the other side in quickly so they're both in. So to mark that, I kind of want to use a half box. <sighs> Let's use a patterned one. I don't want to cover her head though, and I'm totally going to cover it. What if I... Hold on. What if I do this? And then I put in a glitter header, and then I just put the half box down here. Is that weird? Okay, maybe, yeah, I'm just going to do it because I kind of like that idea. So the half box here, and then I have the, actually these are from Coffee Monsters Co. Little Straight Couples. I think this is an older formatted sheet, but I'm going to put this right here to mark our anniversary, or our month anniversary, excuse me. And then I'm going to put in a glitter header, even though I'm not separating for school or anything, just to have that space. Like that. Okay, and then Sunday, I'm not working. I have my weekend banner. I have a TV show on on Sunday. I have Bob's Burgers. So I'm going to grab a pink TV little thing. Oops, I grabbed both of them. My bad. Put that in right here. And then I'm just going to put in a half box just in case we do something on Sunday because sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Brian's supposed to be working, so we might not, but I'll put in a half box anyway. Um, I'll just use this pattern one. I really like this pattern one. Like that. And I think I still have, yeah, I still have a little piece of that pattern washi, which is cool because I can put that right here. And then put the glitter header. Right on top. Cool. Okay, so that's how uh, the week ended up. So what I'm going to do is move all this out of my way. Is open this up. like this I keep staring at it and I'm like not a fan sorry that took me a couple minutes the little icon I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it up though let's see if I can try yes because I brought out something else to use and I forgot about it but I brought out the fox and cactus little like thug payday stickers so I'm gonna use one of these instead because they're just super cute so that actually looks a lot better in my opinion so that is what the week looks like in full let's go ahead and work on the sidebar so, I'll start with the quote box, which says, ready for the weekend, right here. We're going to move it down one, just for the loopity loop of the J. Alright, and then I'm going to put in my daily habits. My two daily habits now, I actually am going to change them a little bit, so I'm going to have them be um, bullet journaling, like I've talked about, and um, tidying up. I'm going to put one in right here, and then a piece of patterned washi, wherever I put that, oh it's right here, let's put this like really pretty piece, and then the other one right here, and then a glitter header hold on let me get all my stuff out okay so I'm gonna do a glitter header for all oh, these are the same colors that's fine um for my YouTube uploads I'm going to use I really like the Navy to be honest so I'm gonna do the Navy this is for YouTube my YouTube schedule and I'm going to use this Navy 
Weekly Ombre. And then I'm going to use a mint glitter header for my next week. I am going to put a piece of washi down at the bottom though before I put my ombre down. I'm going to put down this piece right here. Hopefully that covers enough. And then I'm going to put down the last mint ombre. Does it cover enough? Yes. Perfect. Okay, so pretty awesome sidebar if I do say so myself. So let's get all of this out of the way and let's open it back up so you can see. That looks pretty amazing actually. I'm very impressed. For a boring week it turned out really cute. Um, so now I'm going to use the deco which I'm super excited for. I really want to use the girl and the TP. I'm going to start with the girl because she's my favorite. And oh I don't want to cut anything off. She definitely doesn't fit there does she? It's really cute though. I'm going to put her here. I don't want to cut her off like at all so I'm going to make her like fit perfectly. And I also really don't want to cut off this TP, but you know, you do what you have to do. So I'm going to put, well, I'll cut off a little bit of it and I'll have it go down this way. So then we just have the other things that I definitely want to put along the bottom. I'll put the little tray, the girl in the tub over here. Ooh, the little outfit. So cute. Uh, I think it probably fits best right here. Um, a little eye mask, which I'll put some things up here as well. The cat sitting on the books. Holy poo, this one's going to be kind of intense. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Hold on, I'll think about that one. But I also have these little, like, glitter dots, which are really pretty. And then the flowers that I just ripped. Oh no, it's okay, it's okay. We'll have them like this then. And then, yeah, we'll do the cat. Could I do the cat? That's kind of weird. Well, hold on, let me put some glitter dots on the other side. <laughs> just to even everything out. Some of these are kind of small, so I'm holding off on those. Okay, so I really want to do the cat. Right here is fine. Perfect. Cool, so all I have to cut off is just these two and then this one, I think. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut off the camera, cut off all of those excess pieces, and fill everything out using my Sharpie Ultra Fine Point. This is a navy Sharpie. It might be a little difficult on like the navy stuff, but I feel like it might work out really well. And then I'll be right back to show you guys the finished spread. Okay, so I finished filling everything out and I realized as I was filling things out that I totally had space for my cat right here. And I tried to pull it up and it was like ripping up the washi and stuff and I was like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. But I totally could have put it there, but still it's okay because it's like a patterned washi so I kind of understand, but... Oh, kind of kicking myself now, but I'm still happy that I could fit my girl in because she was gorgeous. So I'm really happy with how this week turned out. I love the colors. I love the spread. I love the clip art and everything. I think it's really, really cute. I need to find out like better ways to write this. Abs, butt, arms, legs. You know, I probably could just write workout, but you know me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's plan with me. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.